get the call from the Raiders. John Gruden calls me. Oh, that. Mowers. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in there dying, bro. And Hank can, is on the pitch count because he's just got there. It was he supposed to be 14 plays. Man, 14 went to like 37. I'm out there about to pass out. I'm like. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, BTH, man. We got big time talks today. Uh, idea we talked about a few weeks ago, me and my boy Timmy, and today is finally coming to fruition. And, um, you know, I got a few of my boys here with me to talk about some stuff, you know, just life, ball, and, you know, just the crazy things that goes on in this world. But um, I got my boy Kendall Vickers. I got my boy Maurice Hurst. And I got my boy Tremaine over there, Jermaine Johnson. Uh, you know, pretty much close group of friends that I associate myself here in Vegas. Well, just in general, probably for the rest of my life. But um, I'm going to let these guys say some few words and just introduce themselves. Yeah, uh, my name's Kendall Vickers. Um, I went to the University of Tennessee, uh, played with these guys, started playing with them in 20, 2020. 2020? Yeah, yeah. COVID yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. You, ca you came in uh, Oakland? You came nah, in Vegas. I signed, I signed when Oakland, when y'all were still in Oakland. And okay. Then we went straight to Vegas. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then I play for the Buffalo Bills now. So, uh, Mo Hurst went to the University of Michigan. You know, <laughs> greatest Big Ten school. Ah. Uh. Two and zero in the past two years, but yeah. I, went, I went zero and five. Um, you went zero and five. Bring went zero and five, yeah. bro. Ooh, that's a hurt. I ain't gonna be Florida. We got our little Buckeyes in the building. We got a little Wolverine in here, so Ooh. which you know I respect him a little bit. But uh, I'm in year five, going on six. Currently a free agent, so got a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm Tremaine, Trey. Uh, just local business owner here in Vegas. Um, I went to University of Wisconsin. Go Badgers. <laughs> Man, another Big Ten school, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't play ball, though. Uh, uh, SEC guy. Yeah, man. The worst yeah. SEC school, though. The worst SEC school. Well, we was good this year, boy. <laughs> it was good, man. I ain't like, they surprised me, now. Now, if my man didn't get hurt, the quarterback, Hooker, I would have took them over. Who, who won it this year? Was it? Uh, oh, Georgia. Georgia, Georgia, yeah. yeah. Nah, been, Georgia was tough. winning either way. Tough, yeah, but Georgia was really nah, tough. Nah, Tennessee, they bought out this year, bro. They beat Bama. Lost to Georgia, but hopefully they have another good year this year. Yeah, well, time with tails. I don't know. It's kind of Tennessee would kind of remind me of uh, LSU when Joe Burrow won it that one year. <laughs> yeah, but they went all the way after that. You know what I mean? They won it, but um, LSU good by every three, four years. It'd be good by every three or four years. And then they ended up winning four games a year again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to see that. So, obviously, it's the time of free agency. Might as well ask my boys what's going on. Well, my man already signed. He already know he's going to be. I just, you know, Buffalo. Thank God. I'm blessed. Thank God. I'm blessed. Bro. Big Mo, what, what, how is it going? What you think? Yeah, right now, I mean, it's just a, you know, kind of tough time. Uh, being a fifth-year guy, 27, about to be 28. So a lot of teams, you know, start looking for younger guys once you get a little closer to later in your career. Yeah. Um, but you're still young, though. You're, yeah, you're, still, you're, you're, you're still young. Um, but, but I know uh, what you mean. I know what you but mean. But, yeah, so the teams, you know, teams start pulling back a little bit more than they normally do uh, early on in your career. But right now just navigating through that, um, staying in shape, staying healthy is the biggest thing for me, just battling a bunch of injuries throughout my career so far. Um, How so you that's, feel? Feel healthy? Yeah, I feel great right now. Probably the best I ever felt. So you know, just get out and uh, you know, just do my thing. I'm just waiting for that. Years ahead, waiting bro. for that opportunity. And uh, you know, wherever I go, I feel like I'll be able to dominate right when I get there. So yeah, you know, might not expect a lot from me, but I'm ready to to dominate. Health is wealth. Yeah, that should put on mean team. everything, man. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. I'm still waiting. You know, to get a call, figure out where I'm gonna go. Obviously, just going on year 11, oh, so man. you know what I mean? It's crazy. It kind of went by. Goes by fast, bro. Yeah. I just so felt like fast. I was a rookie. I'm like, man, I'm going into year six. Like, I wouldn't <laughs> even thought that it would have flew by that fast, but um, 
you know, I'm I'm excited. You know, if Dallas, you know, give me that call, I'll be. It's a good That'd spot, be an easy man. place to go back That's to. It's a great spot it's to go great to. Great spot. Man. Um, but if anywhere else called, we have to definitely take some time to think about it and consider it. But um, free agency has been crazy, man. It's guys getting paid. You know, guys normally it's receivers are going first or yeah. quarterbacks. But you know, the Aaron Rodgers situation. Um, Just trying to cap, slow down. The cap going cap. up too, bro. Yeah. You would, the cap raising. Yeah, the cap Prices really, are going uh, up. People are getting paid. Yeah. Like, yeah. People you don't expect to get paid. You're like, what? He got what? Yeah. Is it because, <laughs> is it because though, teams are desperate? I mean. Well, nah, bro. Since the salary cap's going up, bro, like, yeah. there's a there's more money to be yeah, throwing around. So, like, the, the deals that you saw maybe, like, five, ten years ago that guys really wouldn't get now, like, they're yeah. getting now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why Lamar's is so crazy though, because I I just been sitting here like this man won MVP and won all these awards, has the numbers, everything you could ask for from a quarterback, and you know they don't actually give him a real tag. Bro, Lamar Cole too. It's crazy. Lamar right? Cole. But you got to think if they would have given him the what the the exclusive tag, exclusive which tag. was forty five, he won't be able to talk to nobody. Right. And this would be like the third or fourth year he negotiated with the same team. So yeah. at least they get an opportunity to be able to talk to somebody after tomorrow. I think the franchise tag is tough too, though, because like that's a lot of money. Like 45, that's a lot to be like. But you know it's saying? not his but actual. Not, no, that's I'm not a lot of though, money. It's not 45? his actual value, who's though. Getting, who's getting 50, 60? Uh, uh, Mahomes is getting 45, right? Deshaun, or 50. Deshaun Watson. Deshaun, Deshaun oh, yeah. Watson Deshaun got it after. It for, like, what after you think is going to be in the thing. next three or four years? Well, that's go, what I'm saying. Hey, you're right, though. Deshaun did mess it up. Deshaun messed it up. Everybody. Yeah. For one, I don't good even for think him. he's that good. <laughs> he's not even that good. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm glad he got paid, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and Anytime say that. Anytime somebody can reset the market, that's always a good thing. But yeah, they're I mean, acting like he's such an anomaly, and it's it's not. That ain't the case, bro. Like, guys gonna keep getting paid that money. No, I think at some point it's gonna have to cap off. You can't you can't tell me the next the next ten or fifteen years the cap quarterback's gonna be making seventy five million dollars. I, bro, think they need, I think they need a separate cap. Yeah. I think they need a separate pool for quarterbacks. I don't think they should nah. all be pooled in the same. Because I think it messes up the rest of the teams. Like when you, That's why every team's trying to win now with a young quarterback. Because yeah. the moment they have to pay their quarterback, their time is basically done. Like, well, it's you hard. can't say that. The Chiefs, the Chiefs pay. But you got Mahomes. Is, I mean, look at what they took at wide receiver. Look at what they took on the rest of their team. Like They weren't able to spend and disperse the money how they... Thought they were they were in a rebuilding year this year. I, I could be wrong, but like they said, Mahomes' deal was actually like team friendly at, at when he signed no, yeah. it. Yeah, because it, it, it was, was a long. It was, it was like ten years. They yeah. got to be ten, yeah, ten years. So. He got a baseball contract. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> if you can't make sure some fly with that with that amount of leeway, that amount of time. <clears throat> so, so you saying like with Deshaun Watson, say he signed that that contract set with fifty million. Mm-hmm. So when his contract's out, you don't think another team will match that, right? You say that's how you say like he'll fizzle out, like they fizzle out after their contract if you get signed to a big contract. It depends. depends if he, if he yeah. plays, if he plays like Deshaun Watson has played previously, not last year, because I mean he ain't played football in a year. But if he plays like he did in Houston throughout his contract, he'll get paid again. Look at all these quarterbacks getting a hundred million dollar deals, bro, multiple times. Like you get Kirk Cousins just Kirk Cousins, bro. Out. Who's his agent? Bro, he's cashing the greatest. Out. Bro, the he's the greatest. He's the GOAT, the goat bro. He been yeah. getting guaranteed money for probably like the last six he years, said, I feel like. Said, oh, oh yeah, shit, franchise had me. Cool. Damn. I'm cool with making top quarterback money. Man. But the, the people that get messed up is like you get someone like Josh Jacobs where he's in a position at, at running back yeah. and you franchise tag him. The running back shelf life's not that long, so you get him in year five. Yeah. You, and then you franchise tag him again. He'll never make what he truly is worth. No, nah. you get him for five and six. That's yeah. why he wants that big deal. Yeah, Josh is vastly underpaid. That's what I'm saying. Right. But that's where the that's where the franchise so, tag. So how much you was up. McCaffrey getting paid? Because I think he was the last one to set the. Market. Yeah, he had the highest. Was it was yeah. sixteen? It was like him and Alvin. I think he was getting sixteen or seventeen a year, and then uh, I think they were going to try to play Saquon mm -hmm. just like right below that. So I think that's that's sort of where I think Zeke's deal was too, around fifteen a year. Yeah, but so yeah. they ain't gonna pay. So now they're back, scared huh? though to give running backs that type of money because you get someone like Zeke, you get some of those other guys that got the bag, and now you know, running back it, life is short, yeah. bro. But like, also depends on what team you get, you know you get drive to, or if some you teams them, keep you know, their guys, like the Cowboys guys. keep yeah. their guys, like, like the gonna, Saints, you know, per, you know, Saints are gonna keep their guys. Kamar. 
I would say Alvin got paid. Yeah. Alvin got paid. So, um, Derrick Henry's contract was weird, bro. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, weird. Derrick Henry should be the highest paid running back in the league, like based off of what he does and what he puts his body through on a week to week basis. Yeah. But two, well, they yeah. don't use him much on third down, for real. Shit, they had they did last year because they got rid of um, who they get rid of their who's their uh, scat their third down guy. I don't even know. I just remember seeing shit, when we played. Who was that? Uh, come on, this thing. Yeah, uh, no, the no, Titans. the Titans. I don't really know, but dude was fast though. Bro, man, once he get once he get going, he get going. He get going. People always tell me though, it's not that crazy hitting him though in the hole. Like if if it's one of us, I don't feel like he's hard to tackle because he runs so upright. Well, but if he gets to that second level, that's them dude's scared. Like, when, when he get going, he get going. Guys scared. You you yeah. ain't you ain't um. You're not being blocked by one guy and trying to tackle the ball carrier like if it was like yeah. like a run a small running back. Small running back, yeah. yeah. You 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 risking to get your, your who, shoulder to go. Who gives you trouble on Sunday? Who who don't you want to see behind the quarterback? Alvin. <sighs> running back, Alvin. Yeah. Mm. Alvin. Alvin Cole, bro. Come well, on. Being in the NFC, when we play against the Bears. And seeing Fields back there, oh man, and Fields the running back, oh, oh, yeah. look here, it was like we were doing a good job containing them. Don't get me wrong; they still rushed for like over two hundred yards, but it was just it was it was impossible to slow this dude down, man. And he, like everybody, like to say Vince Young, not Vince Young, but uh, Mike Vick Mike was Vick. fast yeah. and he had the moves, bro. But Fields I feel like Justin off. Fields has he might be the fastest guy in the league. You think he's faster than Lamar? Yeah, and that's he's crazy. faster than Lamar. Ooh, I don't know. He's faster than Lamar. Nah. Ooh, well, yeah, I don't know, bro. That's, that's, I don't that's, know. I don't think he's faster than Lamar. See, what made Lamar different, though, I don't think nobody too, can. Y'all got to see his Juke breakaway speed, at, though. Not, I'm not saying, like, side lateral. I'm uh -huh. saying the straight line. Like, the way Justin Fields runs his read option, and he breaks through the hole, yeah. like, he's gone. Like, no one's touching him. But you see how we're debating this now? Like, but back in out. the day, there was no quarterbacks no, running like that. No, like, I know. I, look here, I give my respects to Vic because he is the greatest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the new dudes, like Lamar, you can stop him in the hole, and he can still get up out of there. It's like if you if you put a – they're like a running back, like a Barry Sanders quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's a lot of it's guys. It's crazy. Like, it's the You have to be able to run now. And now, yeah. like, probably I'll say five years ago, you can say majority of the NFL is all pocket passers. Yeah. Nah, bro, if you ain't got a quarterback that can move. You can't run. On the defensive over. side, how we look at it, bro, we come to get you. Right? Yeah. We, we know you ain't yeah. going to run the bottom there. And yeah. that's what happened with. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not with the Raiders. Bro, hey. Hey. That game, but that game plan gets so much longer though with it does. You, face you got the read option, run, you, know? you got to shuffle. Yeah. Some I think the NFL too doesn't really know how to play the read option. Like I feel like in college I feel like in college we always had it, you know, kind of locked up. When you get to the NFL, the coaches start coming up with some stuff. They're like, oh, this is gonna work. You know, I think what we had we had a jet call. We'd be like, all right, jet, jet, jet. Jet up field and you know the quarterback running right in between the uh, the C gap like yeah <laughs> good question how would you describe your experience from or which one would you would say you love most or like the best uh, college football or playing in the pros college for sure just from an overall I think, just generally overall you know I for me I'd have to say the NFL just because college I. I mean, you went to Michigan. You say I went to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You went to. You in the big but, house. But, like, but how, how I look at it is, what? is is just your time. Like, you a lot of your time, at least for me, was spent. Mm -hmm. You know, having to study in class, yeah. like oh, doing all this other stuff. Well, we besides. all had. But I know y'all did. Day, I know y'all went to Ohio State in uh right, just, in Tennessee. Like, but I really had to. I had to. I had to go to class. So football too was tough, bro. Because okay. I had hardball. Like. For our spring, for our spring practices, we were practicing on the field for four hours straight. Yeah, Jeez. like we didn't have but meetings. Those, those, we, those, we, those, we, yeah, college, yeah. Practice. college practice four yeah. hours with pads on. Like, yeah. it's not the same as the NFL. You come in, you do your work, and then you know a lot of it's film study or you know just trying to you know perfect these small little things. And everyone's a lot more locked in, so I don't think you need that much time to practice like you do in the, uh, in college. And plus, everyone's taking it more seriously. So, I mean, my college experience was great, but 
the NFL, the, the way that everything's conducted is better for me. Like, I just like the structure of it and, you know, how you get to, like, we're in the off season, right? So we're back home, we're with our yeah. families. Like, mm-hmm. you're in college, you're, that point, yeah. I, you're yeah, stuck no, there no, in the spring, sense. in the summer. You got, yeah. some win, you got mm-hmm. winter workouts, you got this, you know, this guy yelling at you every day to do this or do that. That's not, <laughs> not like, conducive to being a good football player. Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, some of the stuff just doesn't correlate with one another. I feel like they treated you. They don't treat well, you. They don't treat you like a man in college. Yeah, they yeah, treat you like a boy. Yeah, well, I would say being at Ohio State, they treated us like we were adults, or you know, as young men that we were. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's kind of tough to hear. Well, at Michigan, I was like, it's that, just so. a different. It's hardball. Well, you know, the, he he did the same thing in the league. That's why they yeah. kind of got burnt out because the players were. You know, just not used to that grind that Harbaugh is going to yeah. try to put you through. I think it has a lot to do, too, with certain teams. Like, you hear guys talk about it, whether they're going to New England or the Raiders and they get that Patriots way, and a lot of guys are miserable. Like, they they wouldn't take any amount of money to go there. Like, some guys, you just hear them talking. You talk to the current Raiders player, you talk to the current Patriots players, there's a certain amount of money that they're like, man, is this worth it? Do I love football this much? Like they make you, I think those teams make you question your true love for the game because they take, they take the fun out of it. Bro, I'll tell you my freshman year in college, bro, so what you were saying, how hard the practices were and how hard the workouts were, it was a shock, yeah. especially going into college as a, as a freshman and going through the three, four hour practices, bro. I remember during training camp, like, I walked into the mirror one time. I was like, do, you do really I really want to do I love this game? Do I love this, like, I love this game? Bro, it makes you question everything. Cause yeah. I mean, you came in, you started as a freshman. Like yeah. I, I got me, red-shirted. For well, me, I got red-shirted. Like I kind of had, I mean, I was from I didn't start, but I played. You played as a little, freshman. Yeah. You were a highly touted recruit. I was, no, I was, I was a two and a half star. Okay, I was a cap. I was, if you go look at it, I was a two and, was and a half two and star, star, bro. For real? Yeah. What high school you went on, to? Yeah, yeah, Detroit yeah, yeah, yeah. South. Okay, Detroit South. Yeah, two two stars. Yeah, two and a half stars. But I had I had a lot of scholarships based on because my boy Will Gosen was. Oh on yeah, Will. My high school and he was the number one player in the state. So, you know, shout out to him from you know giving me some looks at the schools that see me. And or see recruiting me, a such bullshit, player. ain't it? Bro, it's, it's terrible. It don't make no sense. How they do it now is bad. Bro, I don't know, bro. I didn't get an offer to my senior year in in high school, and as soon as I got my first offer. The rest of them came. I was just like, bro, was, where was y'all at before? Was it your senior after you were playing or going into your senior? During the season. Getting, during the season. Your, yeah, during the season. During the season. Yeah, so like yeah, I went yeah. to a camp at South Carolina and then um, like they came to a game and offered me that day. And then literally after that, it was like North Carolina, Florida, like all these other schools. I'm like, who offered first? Oh, uh, South Carolina offer first. South Carolina. Out of state school, mind you. I'm in North Carolina, so I, yeah, I had the same first. thing. My I'm first not, offer was Purdue. Like, pretty- <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm I'm going to Boston Bruh. College's football camp. <laughs> I'm going to UMass it's football so cr- camp, and yeah. Purdue is the first school to offer me. And then Boston yeah. College is calling, like, oh man, we really want you. I'm like, bro, you guys have been watching me Bruh. since my freshman year. I've been coming to this camp. My but- first one was from uh, Toledo. 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 And no disrespect to Toledo, but the coach, the coach would hit me, with, once he hit me with the offer, he's like, yeah, we got chit chat, talking, talking, you know, and as it's time, for, you know, for me to leave, he hit me, he was like, bruh, so are you committed? I'm looking like, bruh, uh, this is my first one, I really don't really know how to act, but it's like, bruh, I can't commit, none, nah, it's going to start like rolling in. But it's funny when you get the scholarships from that first school or small you get, school, you start getting them from the big school, and it's like, bro, what, what took yeah. so long? My mentor I mean? told me that because I had one, I had two at the time. He's mm-hmm. like, you're gonna get twenty. I'm like, I'm gonna get twenty. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. But I mean, you you had a crazy crazy story. Like, how was it really for you going from Canada to the NFL? I feel Man. like that's a that's a crazy turnaround. It was a story in itself. So I'm actually, you know, rewind back to high school. So like, the only reason I got the offers that I got was because of a running back that I went to school with. And he was a top 100 ESPN recruit. Okay. And then Tennessee was at the school looking for him. So my high school coach called me into his office and cussed me out, I got in trouble for something. And um, as soon as I leave, the coach was like, who's that? He was like, yeah, his name's Kendall Vickers. He has some grade issues, but um, he's going to yeah, uh, Georgia, has Georgia talk, military. Has some, talk good about, no, 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 talk no, good no, about no, you. No, see, he, he got was, some great okay, okay, issues. Okay. Yeah, so like, he keeping it real, but yeah, you know what I mean. Real, yeah. <laughs> so like, he was, so the coach was like, 
let me see his transcript real quick. Then he pulls out the transcript and like Tennessee, man. He said, oh, he's we, like, he said, oh, we can said, get him, man. He'd be all right. Oh, man. Like, yeah. So he called me back. He's like, what if I can tell you I can get you into Tennessee right now? I was like, well, I mean, I'd have to talk to my parents first and all that, but <laughs> my job, 18 <laughs> years old, bro. Yeah. yeah. He's going there. Bro. I was like, I'm not gonna do this with bro, you. I took a visit to Tennessee that week and ended up committing on spot. And then fast forward to the end of my career when I had to kind of decide. I, I started with Pittsburgh and it just didn't work out. And for me, it was like, I just want to play football. Yeah. So I really wasn't worried about the NFL or whatever at the time. I was like, bro, I'm gonna go up to Canada. And at the time, it was not a, a decision everybody would, would make. It yeah, like, I, I, so just yeah. right after, so you went to the Steelers? Uh, yeah, went to the Steelers training got cut. Camp, yeah. rookie mini camp? Yeah, well, all the yeah, camp, did their whole camp or whatever, got cut at the end of it. And then, but Coach Tomlin kept it real though. Coach Tomlin was like, look, like. You're a real one. Yeah, you're a real, real one. Shout out to Coach Tomlin, man. Um, he was just like, thing, yeah, he was Solid like, bro, dude. he's like, I'm gonna keep the buck with you. He's like, you, you didn't beat out the guys you needed to beat out. Yeah. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say nothing. That's right. right. You can't say that. So, um, I think I went to the Eagles rookie mini camp and they had some interest, but they were like, yeah, we'll call you during camp. Yeah. I was like, I'm not waiting, bro. Like I'm impatient. So I went up to Canada, played for a year, had the time of my life. I met my fiance, like. And, and everything just came back, went back to the Raiders, and then we yeah. came with us. How, tell know. the people how about your time, Mo, like the draft process you having, you know, health little issues, concern, and how that kind of detour for you, detour you from where you were projected to go to where you at now? Yeah, so me coming out of college, uh, made All-American consensus. Mm -hmm. I stood. Remember. I remember one stood. Right <laughs> felt pretty good about everything. You know, hired top agency, hired CA. Yeah. Felt pretty good about coming out and had a lot of uh, first and second round grades. So I felt really good. Didn't go to the Senior Bowl because I, you know, I was like, all He's right, the guy. I'm, you, I'm good. You know yeah, I, mean? I don't. I don't have anything else to prove. I played yeah. five seasons at Michigan. Uh, felt really good. Felt good about my times and everything for the combine and and lifts and everything like that. But, I mean, I showed up to the combine in Indy, and our first thing that you do when you get there is do all of your medical uh, testing. So once I got up there, did some medical testing, and then I got called back because they had found um, something with my heart. So mm -hmm. they found out that I had an irregular heartbeat, so they wanted to do some more testing. So for me, they're, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, sometimes this happens. Some guys, you know, have a little bit of an irregular heartbeat or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I went in, did all my testing, got an MRI, for the second time up there. And basically after that, the doctors called me, they brought me down to this room and they told me that I had a heart condition, which was HCM. Yeah. So Did you know? I had no idea. And I did, wow, that's so, a good thing. So I had no yeah, idea, yeah. so they bring me down and basically they tell me you can't participate in any of the drills. We're not gonna let you because of this heart condition. And basically just said like, we don't think that from us that you should be playing football anymore. So you go from being a first or second round pick to being in the high light of your life. You're like, damn, I'm finally made it. I'm about to make this money. I'm about to, you know, take care of my family and everything. Yeah. And then you get pulled into a room during the time where you're going to make all that money. Mm -hmm. And they tell you that, you know, you're not supposed to be playing. So after that, I went through the combine, just did meetings and stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of the guys were telling me that the people were grilling them in there, but they you know, were kind of sensitive because <laughs> of what I was going through. They yeah. kind of just talked through some film with me and everything like that. So after that, I just had to get some more testing done. Mm -hmm. um, went over to see like the top heart specialist mm -hmm. in Boston at Harvard and then went to UPenn and just got a bunch of opinions from everybody. And they all said that I'd be good to play. So I went through that and then come to the draft, I have no idea. My agent's telling me, I mean, you can go one, you could go undrafted. So I have no idea what's going on. Oh, God. So I'm just oh, sitting man. there uh, listening. Had about 20 teams. My agent said that taking me off the board completely. So I had about, I had about, I think I had about five or six teams that mm -hmm. still had me on their board for yeah. draft day. And, you know, just waiting every day, every round. Cause it, you know, there's three days so you get the first round, then you get second and third, and mm -hmm. then fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh yeah. on there. So I'm on the third day, and I'm just waiting because I had the Raiders that called me, and they were like, yeah, you know, we could take you. 
And then the the Browns had called me as well. Mm -hmm. They said they would probably take me. Philly called me, said they'd probably take me. Yeah. So I'm just sitting here waiting. I got no idea. Yeah. I'm seeing these guys <laughs> get drafted. I'm like, man, I'm way better than this guy. I'm way better than this guy. And you always see like, you know how they show the board and they're like top available. It's like Everybody Mohurst. From the position. It's Mohurst like, since day yeah. since day one. Top available, <laughs> D Lyman. I'm just sitting there like, man. My mom's over there stressing. She's like, is anyone going to pick right, them up? They be waking it worse. Oh, my mom was making it worse. I said, mom, I said, mom, stop stressing me out. You're right. Like, One of the you, most. Stress, you stressing me out. So yeah. I get the call uh, Get the call from the Raiders. John Gruden calls me. Oh, that. <laughs> Mom you know hurts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he talking to you like he um, commentating. Like, oh my he's, he said, Mo Hurst, like, we traded up to get you, buddy. Like, we really want. I'm like, man, you traded up to get me. I'm, you you dropped me in Making the you round. feel so special. Like, he's like, like, he, said, he said, man, we, we tried to trade up for you in the fourth, but, you know, the team didn't want to trade up to you. And, you know, we're just so happy we got you. And, and, and blah, blah, blah. I mean, it was on from there. Like, I had some emotions. I was more mad than anything. I'm like, man, like. I, it's like about time. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. about time. Like, yeah, you know, like, you know, I'm ready to get to work. But then, you know, the position that we got put in was kind of yeah. rough. Like, for me, uh, PJ and Arden, getting drafted into that situation was not yeah. really helpful for us. Like, we didn't have any yeah. sort of leadership. You know how the coaching was for us. Well, that was the first year. You, yeah, you were the, the Raiders. You were there for, the, Groom, for, so yeah. for that. And, yeah. I was about to say, how was that in Oakland? I mean, it was tough, bro, because, like, we get in there and, and you're a rookie. You got three rookies basically starting. Like, it was me, PJ, and Arden. And we were, were thinking we were going to get Khalil Mack, but we had Bruce Irvin, who's, the, you know, great, great football player. They traded player. him away. But he, he got rid of – yeah, they got rid of him that yeah. year. So we didn't really have any leadership, didn't really have anyone to, you know, show you how to handle yourself, how to do things, how, to, a pro. how to be a pro and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, you know, we had a kind of tough time when we were there. And the, the coaching was, was, was trying to help us out, but the situation was tough. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things, you know, Gruen is a great coach, great mind. But um, to put the mu the, that amount much pressure on, you know, the rookies to go out there and, you know, just play well now and, oh, you man. know, be like it, Warren it was, Sapp. It was tough, bro. You know, be like, you know, who's the DN that we have for the Reds? He, he always compared guys DN, to like Khalil Mack and, dudes, and so Warren Sapp. And, to yeah. kind of put it on them boys that early, that fast, and that quick, it was just, you know, it, it's tough. You know what I mean? Your first year in the NFL, you really don't know nothing. I didn't so. understand anything. I mean, I'm going from college. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Different this is terminologies. cool. I get in game one. I got the Rams, bro. I got Todd Gurley in his prime. Ooh. And you know how the Rams offense is side to side. So I'm over there because we back then we weren't really attack front. We were kind of yeah. like a little bit of a read step yeah. with Gunther. So you're over there trying to take your read step and, yeah. and line things up. And they're just side to side. And you're just <laughs> out here chasing blocks. <laughs> and, you know, it just was a, it was a tough Different time. Yeah. But, you know, the NFL really is just about opportunity. Like, if you get if you get that opportunity to play, you you have a good chance of doing good things out there. Even if you, you know, like I wouldn't think I was a better player then than I am now. Mm -hmm. Like if I had that same opportunity now, I feel like my numbers would be crazy because yeah. you go in, you're in first, second, you're in for third down. Like mm -hmm. I think if anyone's in in third down, if you're playing third down, you're gonna get four sacks. If you're, no, for sure. you know, if you're, if you're, here, you're, if you're an reps. NFL defense lineman and yeah. you're in there for third down, you're going to get four sacks. Yep. And if you're a vet and you can figure it out and a mm -hmm. good player, you'll probably get seven. Yeah. So, like, I mean, it's really just an opportunity league. Yeah, it's Because you get paid. Like, if, if you're playing on third down mm -hmm. and you get that opportunity, you're going to get four sacks minimum. And if you find a way to get three more, you're going to get $10 million a year. So it's just, it's crazy how that opportunity thing works. Cause it's like, man, I wish I could go back, have wow. this knowledge, have this body and have that same yeah. opportunity. So it's just, you know, trying to get that back. It's, yeah. it's tough. Cause you know, teams have to play their guys that they pay. They yep. gotta, they gotta play the guys that they draft. You know, so you got like a small window get a to small make the window, most bro. out of the opportunity. Cause yeah. even you, like you, you didn't get on third down much once you got with, with the Raiders. No. So you, when I got drafted, well, we go back. When I got drafted to the Giants, I was looked at as just a big run stopper that right. can, you know, control the run. So going into my second year, you know, obviously I felt like I was talented. You know, I played DN and in college, and I was able to get to the quarterback. But you know, being with JPP, Justin Tuck, you know, Linda Joseph, squad, bro. you know, Cullen Jenkins, yeah, where I was able to you know go out there and manage to get you know eight sacks 
or nine sacks that year, yeah. my second year in the league. But that was just from having, you know, a good veteran room. That's what I'm saying. We good never had that. To, yeah, like, we really I never had, had that. But I came in to the Raiders, I think, what, second week oh, of the man, season? Oh, man, that was, oh, and man. I was, and that was because I got cut from the coach. <laughs> because, you know, obviously that year we ain't had Andrew Luck. Yeah. So Hank, so Hank been on the couch all week. <laughs> Man, all Hank, summer, Hank, Hank was on the couch all summer. <laughs> they said, "All right, we're gonna bring in Jonathan Hanks." I'm like, "All right, great!" Like, you know, I get to learn from someone. You know, finally. But the week, the week, on. bro, the week they bring him in, the week they bring him in, we're flying to Denver. So you know, the altitude in Denver is crazy. Yeah. Hank, Hank hasn't worn pads, so we go the whole week. <laughs> Hank had put, a, Hank didn't put on put a pair pads of pads. Only in the weight room and went against like. Uh, offensive lineman, 10 times from there. So, all right, you playing him this weekend. I said, all right. So, Hank's, all right. Hank's up, but he, he doesn't know the defense. He doesn't know third down. He doesn't know none of the stuff. And, and for Gruden, he keeps up like seven. He keeps up, I think, seven or eight of us. Maybe. Yeah, we're. I think he kept eight of us up. Yeah. So, we're in there dying, bro. And Hank can, is on his pitch count because he's just got there. It was he supposed to be 14 plays. Man, 14 went to like 37. I'm out there about to pass out. I'm like, <laughs> but they ain't no so, worse than you getting, thinking you're going to get 10, 15 plays. And you, that shit turns into 40, so 45. They, so they put on the film. We're all gas. They're showing us. We were in a two minute. I'll never forget the two minute. I'm seeing Arden out there just dead. And, and um, you know it's bad because we had uh, Kyle Wilbur at the time. Yeah. And they were. That bad, but yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm saying it was bad because well, yeah, Kyle was playing yeah. outside backer. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they were pulling him over because they were like, yeah. hey, Kyle, like, I think we might actually have to put you in a DN right now. Like, our guys are gas. Like, yeah. We might need to put you out there. And you're just like, man, how do you not prepare for this game? Like, you got to know that you're going to Denver. I think we had. Was but it Clint McDonald too? That was the too? hottest day. Hottest day in Denver. In Denver, from like we have last history, time it was. Bro, I years. said that would be the case for me. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, bro, that Kansas City game, I was tired. Tw in COVID Kansas year. Kansas City, right? Yeah, COVID year. Yeah. Bro. Oh my COVID. Bro, I was at home bro. watching on the TV. I said, These boys. Them dying COVID out games here. were hit so much different, bro. Man, that shit was crazy. We won that one though, right? You won that one. That was a lot of running though. That was a lot of running. A lot of running. You guys were on my homes though. You guys yeah, were getting, that was your game. like first big game. That was my game. first start. You were dicing on I saw you bro, swimming. That was first career start, bro. And I was the like, and they told me in the locker room. It was like, Vic, you starting this game. I was like, all right, man, let's, <laughs> let's do it. I never understood why they act like it's a secret though. They're like, yeah, bro, why I don't, don't you just tell somebody that they're going to start this week? Well, because Malik was questionable, I believe. Wait, because he had he had just messed his shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. And you had hit. Um, I had COVID. Yeah, COVID. <laughs> I had COVID. Yeah, so I think man, I just, just came me. back off COVID, too. You just came back off yeah. COVID? Yeah. So it was me, Hank. Chris? Yeah, Chris. Chris was at D-Tackle. Chris was at yeah, D-Tackle. Yeah, yeah, they put Chris at three tech. And then Dayton. Dayton. Dayton started that game? No, 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 no. No, he didn't start, no, but he, he played. Started. He played. He oh, played. Dayton, Dayton played, played that game? Yes, bro. Bro, he might have been one of the funnier guys that I've, like, ran into. Bro. No. Bro, hilarious. Frosty. Frosty. Frosty's an OG. Yeah. Like, I still talk to Frosty yeah. today. Like, that's my, but that was my big was, bro. <laughs> was, he was just funny. Dayton was funny. Always had something to talk about. No, nah, we can't forget about um, big dude from the Cowboys. We end up getting oh, this season. Um, oh, um, Irvin. Rush. Oh, no, Irvin? Irvin. Oh, Ross. Irvin. 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 Yeah, Irvin. Irvin. Ross, yeah. See, because Rush was with us in Oakland. Yeah. But, um, oh, Rush. I didn't play with Rush. Rush, Rush was there for the, uh, for the uh, hard knocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> I watched y'all hard knocks. Y'all had that one dude from uh, Last Chance U that was there. Oh, Ollie? Ollie, yeah. yeah. Bro, those are, them California days were like the best, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> Having like training camp in Napa? Oh, yeah. yeah. But Why it was a tough training camp. Oh, it, it, was it wasn't tough, easy, but. It was a tough training camp. Just to be able to go drink wine, you know, whenever we got our breaks and had time. And, you know, family would come in town. So. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, it was harder than Marinelli? Uh, nah, Buck? nah. You don't nah. think Buck was harder than Marinelli? Buck was hard, but Marinelli was totally different. It was like it was 30, 30 minutes of just straight drill. going. It wasn't no bags, water breaks. Bags, let's go, bags. let's go. Oh, no, you would take water breaks. 
At some point, I needed to take water breaks. I was uh, a little hey, bit older, though. That, nah. that was probably like, older. Oh, I had been married for three years. Right. So. Now, I, I know. And let me tell you <laughs> Let me tell y'all about Hank. I'm going to snitch on Hank real quick. So we used to be doing these individual drills. Mind you, they was tough. And then we would look back. I'd be like, where Hank at? Hank run into the bathroom. No, oh, Hank run into the bathroom. <laughs> Hank not even on the field, bro. Hank not even on the field. It's funny because when I talked to Baradelli uh, last week, he's like, I know Hank used to take the bathroom breaks at an individual. I was like, I'm glad you used to see that shit. <laughs> man. Man, because our line used to get shorter. People that know Rob Man, they know why. I ain't yeah. the only one, man. Nah, you ain't. Damn. He lined up those That's bags fun. every Every day. Every day. Every day. EDDs. Man. Training no. camp every day. Every day. Yeah. Your hip flexors Week 17, on fire. We out there. It's like, coach. Like, nope. Let's like, keep it going. <laughs> the legs. Oh God, get that nah, but it would be it would be the in between drills and be like, come to side with me. Oh, get some extra work in. But that was good you, work, bro. You get the key drills. <laughs> bro, that, that that doing key work with him throughout the season, bro. That year, if you go back, bro, I was the best nose tackle in the league. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Like it was the key drill. The key like work. we we the D line that year when we went to the playoffs. Was it with the playoffs? Nah, that was the year before. The year before, the year before. Or, or the playoffs, bro. We were the year we went to the playoffs. We were rolling, bro. What was yeah. your best season? Well, my best season, well, I would say I had three. My second year with the Giants when I post, you know, the eight nine sacks. My first year with the Colts was I think was my best year, but. You know, they fired the whole staff, so they got rid of me. And then when Rob Melnelli got there. Yeah, you were cooking and when with Rob. came in, bro. Yeah. You were cooking with Rob. Like, a lot of people saying, bro, I don't know if you're going to make Rob Melnelli's uh, D-line because you got to be, you know, you got to be, you know, Twitchy, agile. You got to be small. And Rob was, when he first said, he said, man, I'm not sure. Anymore. But after training camp, when he saw me, he was like, <laughs> Excuse the language and the words. The nickname he gave me was King Cop. King, King so, Cop. You know, to, 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 to get got, that. We got our King uh, Cop. It was, all, it was all types of names from some <laughs> guy. Yeah, he's but, right, he bro. said we got our King Cock in the middle. Bro, I'm like, bro, what? Coach definitely uh, changed the way I played. And, yeah. You know, he changed my whole perspective. It takes a good coach like that to really, like, really help you refocus yeah. and, and, and focus on ball, I think. Yeah. more. Well, he, he was big on the life stuff, which yeah, helps out a life, lot. Not just bro. football, but Because you get everything, like, you get everything yeah. lined up. Flowers, flowers, flowers every yeah. Friday. Yeah. Like, you on Flower you Friday. On that. Like, just the small little things of just being the man, being the father, new time father. And, bro, he made a lot of stuff a lot easier. You been keeping up on your flowers? Huh? Oh, you yeah. Been, she get a nice set of bouquets. Keep, been keeping she, up on. She had to remind me sometimes because you know, because Rod ain't been around. But <laughs> I'm, usually, I'm usually a little bit more consistent. Yeah. I would say. I, I think she would say the same. Where you, where did you like to play the best at? Like when you when you had a team when you travel. Man, where you like to go or you like to? Play well, where I like to go? go? Yeah. New, New, York. New York. Playing? New York. New York. New York. Okay. <laughs> What's the reason yeah. though? What, what well, where? Like, what, what? 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 Manhattan. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So so every time we played the Jets or the Giants, like. I would always go to Manhattan just yeah. just to see the city. And my first time going was actually COVID year. Right here. And we weren't allowed. Hey, the best time best? period was London. That was okay. <laughs> London was London was some London good was days. the best. London was the best time. I, yeah, but we playing in London this year. I, we had good time. London was a great time, bro. It was it was on our day off, so you know I was definitely. We were there all week. Living. Yeah. That was like because I think we went. We went on we went, Monday. I think we had. I think we went Sunday. <laughs> We, or we went Monday. We, we had, had like Monday, three days to be able to do whatever Monday we want off, Tuesday we, off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Man. And I was there for a week. Bro, yeah. We was there for a week. For a whole week. My lady came <sighs> out. That's a lot. I mean, I'm talking about. And y'all won? My lady stayed. Because <laughs> you had the driver. Yeah, yeah. You had the driver. I'm so like, check hey, out, my, lady, my lady was staying at a hotel in London, downtown. And um, we had to stay with the team. Yeah. We were in the Grove. But what I was doing was, like, I was getting the room or staying with my lady. And in the morning, I'll just take, you know, a car, go straight to the hotel, and I'll make it there for practice. So I probably did that two days before we actually got started going. Okay. But, bro, those two days, us going out, bro, I didn't even London had a casino. We went to a casino. Yeah, casinos? Yeah. 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 I, didn't I, know. I don't know nothing about London, bro. It's, but the nightlife, bro, it's, it's kind of similar to New York City, I would yeah. say. Yeah, I would was, say it's, it's definitely similar. Yeah. But I say New York is my favorite city just in general. But it's the best city right. in the States, bro. Like, nothing yeah. better than New York. I, ain't no, I don't ain't even nothing. care when it's cold. It's bro, still it alive in New York, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't know. No, it is. What, what city you like? 
Vegas. <laughs> you went constant, man. You went constant talking about all over New York. What you mean? I'm the fuck? Yeah, I'm in Milwaukee. I heard Milwaukee is dangerous. It's dangerous. Listen, it yeah. is dangerous. Look, I, trenches, look, I'll stay right here in Vegas. <laughs> but everything you need is right here. Yeah, <laughs> Except I, for some water. But I heard y'all off the chain in Milwaukee, man. Hey, I heard look, people hiding in their bathtubs and all that. Look, Milwaukee's a different beast, boy. That's <laughs> you get all them Chicago cats coming up there. <laughs> so I feel you, like my, you being a Nevadian guy, how 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 do you feel about the Raiders, or or are you a you know, Rodgers fan since Raiders. you from? <laughs> yeah, I want to hear this. Which, which, yeah, give me your take. Your take. So, are you a, are you a Raiders fan or are you a Green Bay fan? No, no, no. I'm a Raiders fan. Okay. Because okay. I live here. Yeah. I'm going to support him. That's right. But I like Aaron Rodgers. Okay. All right. But, but don't get me wrong. Tom Brady's the best. He's the GOAT. That's my guy. Right. That's but Rodgers, man, I really feel like, I really feel like we could have used them, especially because this year is Super Bowl in Vegas. There's a lot of things going on, you know. I thought they were It'd be like the them. Rams, how the Rams did it. They, yeah, they exactly. won the third year that they were at That's so what far. I thought that was like the first could time happen. Happened. Yeah. You know, that's what I, and, and, you know, we still got a good chance with Jimmy if like he can Jimmy stay did. healthy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you play with Jimmy. I mean, you... I think Jimmy Jimmy could win some games here. I, I think That's so all he too. Done with, when he with, played. Yeah, with that oh, with that hurt. offense, you got Josh Jacobs. You can do your play action game. The biggest thing for them is just going to be protection wise. Like, what are they going to end up doing on the O line? Because I know they got Colton I, and, and I mean, Andre. It, but, it might not even be that bad because I mean, the the protection wasn't that bad for Carr. I don't think it was bad. I don't think it was bad. It, it's it's bad. Was, was, Jermaine had a good year. It's because uh, Carr never moved around. He can't move around. But if Jimmy can stay healthy and move around, he's mobile. I mean, he'll get some stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Like the, I'm not worried about the offensive line for for the, for the Raiders this year. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I think it's pretty solid for the mobile quarterback that they got now. Yeah. I, th- I think Jimmy G catches a lot of slack. Um, He's a winner, though. He's won every, and everywhere. Look, I'm going to tell he's you, he's teaming everywhere. back up with McDaniels. He's already spent three years with McDaniels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the lingo is there. Smart. It's a smart. They're on the same move. page. You got Jacoby Myers that just came over. He knows He knows what's going on. You know, I'm sure Devontae will pick up, at, you know, what's going on. Devontae, you just That's going to be the hard thing, Devontae though, because Jimmy, game. I think, mm-hmm. is just, you know, being able to utilize his Devontae. Because mm-hmm. a lot of our stuff was mostly, like, yeah. play action. Stuff over the middle, get yeah. your playmakers the ball short distance. So, yeah. you know, get the Debo the ball on the slant for five yards. Yeah. And, you know, he might take that to the house. With Devontae, yeah. you got to be able to place the ball in the right spot. Yeah, but he was doing that off in of New England, it. though. Yeah. he was, they, that, that was the plan in New England. So and Jacoby was like the number yeah. one. I think he was the number one once Who? out there, Jacoby. His rookie, no, well, not maybe not. Maybe not. Don't, Man, don't, Devontae. Don't I don't think him and Jacoby. You talking about Jimmy? No, I don't think they ever played. No, they ain't never played again. No, they ain't never played again. All right, since since you was the longest guy there, <laughs> you know they 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 traded my ass up out of there. Yeah, man. But um, yeah, to their defense, I did ask for one, and it only made sense. But I I give you my take. You know, and tell me how you. Um. Yeah. So going in, um, I guess everybody hears the rumors about the Patriots way, right? Like, um whether it's good or bad, you know, but one thing they've always won. So you can't really argue with that. Um, I don't know, it was just different, man, especially being a Marinelli guy yeah. and and kind of being brought up in that system to kind of not lose everything you've been taught from a certain coach, but essentially lose everything you've been taught from a certain coach to, you know, fit into what they do. And it was an adjustment. Um, yeah, obviously there was some pushback and stuff like that. Um, you know, Hank talked about how he got traded. Um, I think after you got traded, really, that was kind of like the... The start just... Yeah, it was kind of the unraveling man. of things. It's a transition you know from the 4-3 to the 3-4, was... too. Yeah, and I'm, I, I've never played in 3-4 before. I've always been a 4-3 but guy. So it like, was... 3-4 is very sad. 3-4? You like 3-4? That's where it's That's when championships. Man. No. Giants won in a four-man front. Yeah, shoot. You talking about when they won? Chiefs won in a four-man front. Uh, you, know, I mean, you know, you can win it in a 3-4. It just depends, but... Shit, the Eagles was in the Super Bowl. They four-man the front. Four-man. I was the transition for me from 
to grow into the it was different the Patriot <laughs> way. It was different. Which I respect those dudes over there, but it was just it's it's hard for them not to go from Bill Belichick and just learning from him and seeing how he runs the team for them not to implicate it. You know, they only learn from one guy, so it's gonna obviously kinda be some similarities to it, but it's tough. You know what I mean? It's a grind. They want things a certain way. No excuses, zero excuses, which, you know what I mean, you That's can't cool. be mad at, yeah, but cool. the the to coach to player um relationship is it's a tough one. You know what I mean? I think it's one of those things you gotta be there to earn their respect. And once you earn their respect, you probably, you know, be able to live and, you know, have a good, you know, time there. But I won't say that was the case for me. Um Obviously, they brought in newer guys or younger guys to play my position. You know, they seen whatever they saw, but I, I started feeling the fact that I wasn't out there practicing or getting the reps that I need, especially coming off back surgery. And to go out there and, you know, perform and show those dudes that I still had it, you know what I mean? That's, that's all I could really do is, is respect them from giving that opportunity. But um, obviously, I didn't stay long. You know, they wanted young guys to play. I ended up getting traded away to Dallas, which was like the best <laughs> best day of my life. Yeah, it's like day um, and night right there. Both of you, both of you got really lucky to go to a really good team. I said yeah. Buffalo was an amazing spot, bro. Like just being in that locker room and seeing that culture of culture. Yeah, bro. Walking into the building and having people that don't even play or coach saying hey to you and starting a conversation and you know, you got players you know, playing cornhole with each other in the locker room and eating with each other. That was, was the biggest thing for me, too. Like, going to San Fran after being with the old, like, Raiders regime. Yeah. And it's just, it was it, completely it, night and day, bro. Like, different. everything felt different. It's different, man. <clears throat> you'd, be at a, you'd be at a place so long, you kind of forget that there's somewhere else that could be better or even nicer. But when I got to Dallas, <laughs> when they say America's team, they mean it. <laughs> I'm talking about my first day I get there, I'm thinking I'm going to talk to probably like two, three, maybe six reporters. Nah, not in Dallas. Boy, it was cameras, lights flashing, everybody <laughs> in my face. I'm looking like, I just got traded, you know what I mean? I ain't really that big of a deal. I ain't no quarterback, but the love that you get out there is amazing, man. That's yeah. probably one of my tops. You know, I've been on four teams. That's got to be one of the best franchises I've played for up there with the New York Giants, man. And all the organizations I play for are good, but it's, you know, people see it, you know, people know about it. It's levels to certain organizations, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nah. What's your favorite vacation spots? Um, I'm sure anywhere out of the country. The Caribbean's for me, like Turks and Caicos, Anguilla. Anywhere where the water is clear <laughs> and the beach is clean, I'm there. I say uh, Hawaii. That was, bro, I ain't never been as peaceful. Bro, I'm, I can't ever relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what I'm doing, I feel like I just can't. I feel like I'm always got to do something, bro. Like, Hawaii was the first place I've been to where I was actually, like, at peace. And just, just like, I was on island time, bro. Like, that was, that's a real thing, being on island time. Like, <laughs> bro, I'm on the highway going 45 miles per hour, bro. Like, I was like, man, I ain't ever doing this. I'm going under the speed limit. Like, um, but Hawaii was dope, though. I'd dope. say for me, it had to be uh, Mexico. Really enjoyed Cancun. Kind of people, but, I mean, it's just the resorts. So being, <laughs> being, on, being on the resort and, and hanging out at the yeah. resort, I think all the yeah. servers, everyone treats you with a lot of respect. Everyone, yeah. you know, is trying to take care of you. It, it's a good time for me. I love the food, the music. Yeah. You like the, the hustle and bustle. You like the New York of the islands and stuff. It, where it just keeps chill, going and yeah, going. Yeah, it kind of goes. Yeah, yeah, you can go out to dinner. Like, uh, they got like Taboo and like all those spots kind of popular down in like, the Mexico area. It's always a good time. Always a really fun time out there. Trey, what are your favorite? favorite? I've like never Christian. been out of the country, so we're gonna work. Bro, we're gonna get you out of the country, now. What? He said, "How old are you?" We're gonna oh, work on the country. We gotta pull each other ourselves. My man said, "I've never been outside the country." We're gonna change that. You ain't been out. Have you been out of the country? Of course, I left the country for the first time by myself as a teenager. 
Listen. Jeez. Oh, okay. Oh, been, you, sound like, you sound just like this. Um, Straight out of Wisconsin, I, I've been here is the mm-hmm. only place I really ever lived. Yeah, you gotta besides. get out, man. You ain't never There's even been. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. What's crazy, bro? First time me ever going on a flight was to go on a visit to a school. My that was my first time ever leaving Detroit. See, I, don't I was in college. Water, and so. I was terrified. Oh, yeah. The kids that like, never flew before, they yeah. get so scared bro, on the plane. Bro, that's how I was. We went to Oklahoma, bro. First game. You see a little turbulence. They be in their <laughs> seat like this, like holding on, rocky. <laughs> like, bro, uh, uh, I've never, never been that. on a flight before. Bro, Jakob Johnson was like, he's sitting behind me. He was like, hey, bro. He's like, you sit in the exit seat. I like, okay, cool. I got extra leg room. Like, this is nice. He's like, yeah. He was like, if the plane crashes, you got to help everybody. <laughs> I said, like, like, why would you tell me that? Good luck, buddy. <laughs> but not knowing, bro, bro, it's very rare that that happened. You know, thank God. It's yeah. never ever happened with me. Bro, I was scared. Um, question. Most expensive thing you bought since you've been in the NFL? Oh, man. The house? Okay. All right, one of your favorite or <laughs> nice, one of the purchases you had to make once you became an NFL player? I think the first thing I Like one of those things, my God, I had that. I got to buy me one of those. I think the first thing I got was a Hellcat. Hellcat? Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. Well, the first thing I got. Shoot. I mean, my first big purchase, I guess, was the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Okay, okay. Kind of modest, okay. you know, fifth round pick. Uh-oh. Hank? <laughs> so check me out. Check me out. So it's a list. I got I got drafted was that 2013. So anyway, I'm trying to downplay it because I'm just trying to give you the town because when I say the car, people are gonna be like, he drove one of those. What's wrong with him? Okay. So when I came out, the, the Challenger won out. It was just the Chrysler 300. Oh, it was, it, it hard, was the SRT. Everyone had a Challenger in Detroit. So I'm driving. When I think about it now, because it's a small car, I'm driving around. In the SRT8 with the, uh, this one I had, my financial advisor, he was a little bit older. I, w- I was going to get a, a Mercedes. He was like, no, that's like 175000 Do not do that. So then I'm getting up, getting, up getting a Chrysler for like $50,000 okay. SRT8, but that was like the first like Hemi engine that was, you know, yeah. in the Chrysler no, the SRT8 cars. was bad. I don't remember the SRT8. Oh, it Bruh, was bad. it was nice. It was like bad. before, before it was like, Chargers, it was Chrysler's. It was yep. the SRT8 version. Yep. They came out the Jeep SRT8. First it was the 300C. When the 300C came out, bro, you couldn't. Yeah. You in Detroit, you couldn't tell me nothing. Detroit. You had it. Hey, the first you thing know, that was put was the Bentley grill. That was a drug dealer car. Right, that was a Detroit drug dealer car. Detroit car. That was a drug dealer car. That was a drug dealer car. Not everybody, their mama driving a Hellcat. Yep. Challenger. Like, Chargers. I ain't gonna lie, not everybody. It was anybody streets. It was in Detroit first, so, you know. You know what I started seeing? I started seeing people throwing that Hellcat emblem on. I'm paying attention now, bro. I be seeing people put a Hellcat emblem on the side. Bro. Where it's supposed to the Hemi it, it's like, they uh, thing supposed to be. Bro, they, they gotta stop doing that. I'm watching TikTok and the dude talking about man, I got I got Hellcats for days. And I guess dude Sony one, he popped the hood. <laughs> it's like it's a three, that's a 392. <laughs> <laughs> Just put the switch oh the decals and put a little exhaust on I'm looking like, bro, you gotta be careful with like even buying cars. Yeah, yeah bro. What's one thing, buying. one thing uh, you regret. regret buying? Regret buying? Man, I got some shit. I'm trying to think. What I regret buying. Really? <laughs> Step right in the house. <laughs> Be quiet over there. Yeah, <laughs> um, I thought it'd be. <laughs> That hurt me. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it, a sip it, it, to increase, that. it increases your home's bro, value. I ain't worried. I, bro, I don't care about that. You got the bro, pony wall. Relics in a house, bro, is, bro, there's no reason why that shit should be that expensive. Bro, pony in a wall is not gonna look good. It's not gonna help your home's value. I understand if, that. At least I would, if you, no, the hmm? thing why I was so mad because I was forced. Because obviously I'm not doing drywall. So, like, you don't want the pony wall. You have It was to get two it. options. I was mad. Y'all ain't got a third option to meet me no. halfway <laughs> in the middle. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Yes. yes. I'm like, bro, what are you, you going to be cheap crazy, about the bro. stairwell? Like, crazy. <laughs> you got to have the stairwell. Bro, what, who cares, bro? Like, that's not something I look in the house and be like, their, stair, their stairwell is ugly. It will. Yeah. Even the banisters, like, you got to pick out the banister. Got to be correct. Look, it's compromise. I compromise that, but I'm going to talk my shit. I don't know. That's a tough one. What do I regret? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I might need, an, might need another question. I, that's a tough one. I don't really regret nothing, for real. Well, I got some shit I regret, but 
can't put it out there just yet. I think the clothes. I think just the clothes. Spending money, Spending on, money clothes. on clothes. I would say, yeah, uh, designer clothes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely. I would say that, too. Like, I remember I went out. We went out to Miami. And I go to the store. And well, I'm, I ain't going to say I didn't. Well, I regret it, but I did enjoy going through the process. <laughs> now when I think about it, it's like, yeah. I shouldn't have did it. Bro. I went to my man, Miami. <laughs> I got this one shirt. It was like a yeah. Miri shirt. But it was kind of like out there. Like, it was yeah. kind of like tie-dye. Yeah. Like, a little Miri on it. was a little yeah. flashy. Bro, I spent probably like $600, $700 on it. I wore that shirt one time. And I never mm. wore it again. It's still sitting in my closet because I just can't. I can't justify throwing it out but that would be the one thing that i'm like how we talking about jewelry what's the most ex- most you spent on jewelry watch 15 well just 15 k you don't know why i set myself up for this but yeah, you know I, I like nice things probably the most expensive thing i bought that was like a chain and charm and probably like one 150. that's a hellcat chain that i want yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I had I had quite a few chains, but What's you know, your favorite chain? Or well, it chain was, and it, charm, I guess. Well, charm. Because I guess you really can't explain a chain. Yeah. It probably would have been my my Detroit chain. Mm-hmm. My charm, pistons charm. Yeah. Um I ain't got it on now. I don't wear that much jewelry anymore. Thanks to my boy Clee. He put me on the plain Jane watches cause oh, Klee, man. if you would have seen me like my third, fourth year in the league. You've been like, out. bro, this is dude, a rapper? Boy, a like, rapper, you... people walking the club like, bro, oh, I didn't grow up, I didn't mature, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> bro, I'm a businessman now, so, you know, I ain't too flashy with it no more. I thought that when I came in, it was you and Ross. No, 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 oh, no, 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 Hey, look, look, no. I, ain't, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put y'all together, <laughs> no. but when I came in, I was like, okay, okay, Hank got some, Hank got some remember, stuff on. I remember, though, because for that, I remember Hank had all them chains. I remember me and Max would be in the back. We'd be on, uh, be on like Shop GLD. Yeah. Me and Max looking for the chains on Shop GLD. We're like, <laughs> me and him both bought the same. Uh, there's got to be pictures of both of us with it on. Bro. We bought the GLD. I think we spent like four hundred dollars, bro. That's all. That's all you need. That was just, that's all you need. Bro. We was like, when oh, you man. first getting it out the mud, you don't look here. Don't ever when you first get driving, do not go buy no jewelry. Nah. You can buy your nice Rolex watch, you know, because. Like, I didn't start buying jewelry until my second year. I was terrified to buy anything my first year because my yeah, financial advisor was on me. But once I got the feel of it, understanding how, you know, manage my money and just, you know, just be a young adult, bro. Being in New York, you got to have that shit on. So definitely oh, yeah. after my second year, I, I most definitely had it on. And, you know, I worked hard for the shit. So, you know, I ain't really, I didn't give two fucks what anybody had to say. You know, I'll bust my ass to get this shit. I'm aware. We, real. we bust our ass for what we do. You know what I'm saying? So, like. We gonna enjoy yeah, the think about it. labor a little bit. You know? When coming, Migos was coming out, and when they first started, it had a few chains, and then once they got on, it's like, yeah. if you ain't got it on like that, you know what I mean. You know what it is. But as you get older, you know, start a family, you see things that's important. Figure but um, important, yeah. you know, I still got it though. You know, I, I just ain't putting it on right now. Yeah. But I, mean? I ain't never been no chain guy. I've been just I like earrings. That's about it. Yeah, you are. Direct type direct, of guy. Yeah, direct guy. Yeah. Um, Mom. Uh, watch. Definitely Watches. just the Rolex. Uh, I just feel like for what we do, like I feel like it's just having something classy, having something that you could dress up, mm-hmm. just that you can really enjoy. You yeah. know, it's got great value. Yeah. For me, I'm a value guy. Like, I'm looking for yeah. something that, you know, I go and I buy a watch. If You're I get it. Now. <laughs> you cheat. Go ahead. I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit frugal about certain things. Right. This guy is frugal, yeah, but uh, true, but, <laughs> but uh, I He's mean, smart man. I, that's yeah, one thing smart. I give him. Mo always been smart with his yeah. cheese. He always, if if some shit just don't make sense, he ain't gonna do it. You yeah, I mean, for me, I, I feel like the watch was kind of my first. Actually, yeah. my Tesla was the first big thing. No, for sure. So I got the Tesla, bro. I was kind of sweating. I'm like, look. Stop talking about this I'm Tesla, looking, I'm like, boy. I'm going to get the Tesla. It goes zero to 60 yeah. and uh, under three. Yeah. And he's like, oh, man, all right. But you see that price tag, he's like 80, 90, yeah. you know, 100,000. You're like, man. I start to feel guilty, though. Like, I'm like, I'm one of those guys where I'm like, man, I, what else could I have spent this on? You know, could I have given this, you know, yeah. to my family? Could I have? you know, done this or that with mm-hmm. this. So it's always tough for me to make those kind of purchases because I always feel like I think 
uh, in a guilty way, I'm like, yeah. man, like what could have, you know, what could my, you know, nephews or some have done yeah. with the money that I spent. But at the same time, you have to be able to enjoy what you worked for and, mm -hmm. you know, have the fruits of your labor, like, you know, have some nice, have mm -hmm. some nice stuff. Cause you know, that's what you, you yeah. know, you work hard for it to get there. No, so. no doubt. It's but, funny. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I was going to say my boy Trey got the, the nice Audi out there and you won't believe what his, his lady got either. What she got? <laughs> What's she, it, got a, she got a Lexus RC. It's the Lexus, but you got to see the wrap she got on there. Yeah, you got to see like, the wrap. Where you get your it's, cars wrapped It's up. almost to the point where I might copy it. It got you know done, know yeah. I mean? yeah. Like, it's, it's that fly. You got it done a dip? Her car got done a dip, But well, see, yeah. yours is red, though. I got mine yeah. a dip. Yeah. That red yeah. hard, bro. That man. I got to get my car yeah. re-wrapped. Yeah. 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 yeah, I get a lot of compliments on my life. But her car, she got the reflective, like, Black Panther. Like, when you put the headlights on, it reflects the spots of a panther. That's what it's like. Yeah, I might need to go. I need to get a new wrap in my car. Well, it would be nice to keep going, but I know we got to go. We got to cut at some point. But I just want to thank you boys for coming on to the, the channel. Big Time Talks, first episode, my boy Kendall, Mo, my boy Trey, you know, some of my best friends, best mans. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you. It's you. a pleasure. Yeah. Yep. Cool. I didn't really know how to end it, but... <laughs>